New Orleans is known for its authentic creativity and hospitality. Come enjoy both during a special tour of New Orleans' most art-filled homes and studios this November 19th and 20th. The Creative Alliance of New Orleans is presenting their second annual Art Home New Orleans, a self-guided tour of a great variety of homes and studios throughout the city's most interesting neighborhoods. Learn about collecting, see the work of a new generation of artists, and even take some art home. You already know about the city's great architecture, music, and cuisine, but throughout the city, people have collected a mix of work, from cutting-edge abstracts to traditional portraits and landscapes, and crafts from precious to funky. In the Saratoga, a new apartment complex in the city's business district, architect and builder Marcel Wisnia with curator Terrence Sanders built an impressive collection of contemporary artists. Robert Tannen's Boulder No. 5 in front of the building signals the surprises within. Inside, there are 60 works including mixed media, video painting, photography, installation, and sculpture. The work celebrates the artists who stayed in New Orleans after Katrina. Press Kabakoff is also a collecting developer who has filled his projects with the arts. His own home in the Bywater neighborhood just below the French Quarter includes an exotic mix of objects, fabrics, and architectural detail from all over the world. Kabakoff and his wife have also developed the Healing Center, a community center for arts, musical events, and food. The center will help revive St. Claude Avenue from the French Quarter to the Ninth Ward. Further down the river, Bob Tannen and Gene Nathan have transformed a simple double shotgun facing the levee of the Mississippi River into a studio residence. They invited artists and neighborhoods to paint on walls completely covered with canvas for an exhibition called Art by Committee, part of the Prospect 2 Biennial with works at 30 sites throughout the city until the end of January. The canvases were filled so fast with work by dozens of artists that Tannen and Nathan decided to keep putting up new canvases to be painted then donated for public sites around the city. Tannen and Nathan's home on Esplanade Avenue in Treme contains an overwhelming collection of arts by Tannen, his friends, other artists, and historic Asian, European, and African pieces. Their Edwardian-style home is filled with artifacts of their New Orleans lives, from Mardi Gras Indian costumes to pottery, ironwork, and glassworks. The work overflows to their gardens with sheet metal shotgun house forms and even a giant floating marlin in the trees. Architect Joel Ross has taken a more pared down and modernist approach to his newly renovated home with contemporary architectural elements, plenty of light, and open space. Ross is part of the new crowd of young creatives who have lingered after attending one of New Orleans' many universities. The graduates have also been joined by an influx of new young artists from all over the country. Several homes on the tour will exhibit their work. Art Home New Orleans opens doors to the creative lifestyles of a creative city at a very affordable price. Buy your tickets now at cano-la.org or call 504-218-4807. Don't miss this great opportunity to see Creative New Orleans from the inside out.